and grow YouTube show. Are you familiar with negative ions? Yeah, but remind me. Yeah. So negative ions are actually positive, positively charged molecules that are in the air, but they are only found in nature. So typically, <clears throat> you know, like after a nice thunderstorm and you go outside and there's like that kind of like smell in the air and it just like mm -hmm. everything feels different right after a really good thunderstorm. Mm -hmm. That's the negative ions. So mm -hmm. they're really... Uh, prevalent after thunder and lightning storms. They're found around flowing natural water. They're found um, in the mountains and in forests and they come off plants. So they're okay. not created, like you're not going to find negative ions when you walk into a building unless there's plants in that building. So the way mm -hmm. that negative ions impact us, and there's a lot of different um, you know, science out there about it. Some people even say that they can um, help with allergies and dust accumulation as well. But one of the biggest things negative ions do is they actually increase um, our ability to create serotonin, which is one of the hormones that helps us feel better and happier. Mm -hmm. So that's really wow. cool. Like just having them around naturally increases our body's ability to feel joy, to be honest. Yeah. Um, it's interesting too. A lot of what you're saying reminds me of just the... And I feel like at this point, hopefully everyone knows what the term biophilia means. Um, if it if we don't know it, I'm sure there's a definition in Growing Joy, and I'm sure there's a definition in Plant Magic too. But it's this concept that as humans, we're intrinsically designed to be connected to other living things. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting that the beginning of your journey started with your connection with animals, because that's a big part of biophilia that people in the plant space don't talk about. But yep. The big reason why pets make us feel so relaxed is that biophilia effect. Um, but also the fact that just by being in the presence of other living things, like we have blood and fluids rushing around our body at all times, just like plants have water rushing around their bodies and their xylem and phloem, you know, mm -hmm. um, we have so many similarities to these plants that, you know, I don't think many of us really understand how similar we are. We all have DNA. We all, you know, breathe oxygen. We all uh, do a lot of these similar processes. Yeah, we have brains and plants have a different type of brain than, you know, than we do. Yeah. But um, it is that recognition of life within each yes. other and that ability to kind of transmute and tra and share that that life force with each other that I think makes people feel so alive and so restored. Yes. When in nature, because you're surrounded by life instead of, you know, dead, toxic things in your office, you know, it's yeah. like, it's so different. And I think anybody knows that. And that there is a reason why every WeWork and every office space now are hiring biophilic design firms to put plants in their spaces. Like this yeah. shit is real. Do, 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 do